it's Chris from Paysetters here. And for today's warm up, we're going to do something called Dance Mat. Okay, so for this, all you need are four objects. And for these objects, all you're going to be doing is tapping them gently with either your feet, okay, or your hands. So I've chosen a doorstop, a towel, a calendar, and a slipper. Okay, and you want to stand in the middle and you want to place them around you like doing a diamond. Okay, and you also need someone else to help you because they're going to be calling out an object for you to touch. Okay, so your first movement is if you just jump on the spot for the person helping you to so call out an object and you're going to touch the object with your feet, either foot, okay, as quickly as possible. Towel, back to jogging, so that was one. Calendar, two. Okay, slipper, three. Door stop, four. Okay, you keep on doing that until you get to ten. Okay, the next one, okay, you'll be hopping. Okay, so it might be slipper. Back to hopping, so that's one. Okay, towel, if you're reaching across your body, it's good for your balance. Okay, so that was two. Calendar, three, do this five times, okay? Door stop, four. Door stop, five. We'll do five, switch legs, and then do that five times as well. Okay? And then the next one, we're doing high knees, but this time, we're not using our feet then to touch um, the, the object, we're using our hands, okay? So high knees, okay, as soon as an object's cooled out, door stop, okay, feet, shoulder width apart, keep your legs straight, and then bend down in front of you, okay, nice stretch here, and touch it, and back to high knees. Give you 10 of these. Okay, towel, okay, feet, shoulder width apart, keep your legs straight, and reach down to your side. You can reach across if you want to. Okay? So um, keep on going high knees. Okay, calendar. This time feet shoulder width apart, straight legs. If you want to go through your legs, that's fine. If you want to try and be really flexible, go on the back, that's fine. Okay, so do that 10 times. Okay? And this one we do heel flicks. Okay, so for heel flicks, I'm just showing you, okay, your feet are touching your heels, are touching your bottom. Okay, but in the moment for this one, you choose, you can only use one hand, so your right hand. Okay, so heel flicks. Okay, it might be uh, door stop. Okay, feet, shoulder width apart. I use my right hand. Okay, back to heel flicks. Slipper, feet, shoulder width apart, reach across the body. Okay, and do that 10 times. If you want to do that with your left hand as well, that's absolutely fine. Okay. Another way now is if you've got a ball, okay, or for me I've improvised, I've got some rolled up socks, okay, and this is about our catching. So we might go back to jogging, the person helping us, okay, might say slipper, okay, might say tap, okay, might want to go faster, okay, dorsal, calendar, okay, they might even say catch. So for catch, you know, catch uh, the, the ball or, or socks, whatever it is, to yourself. Okay, we'll keep on going. So door stop, calendar. Okay, now this time when they say catch, they might say catch six. And that means we'll do six catches now to yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll do less catches or more catches. Okay, another way to then progress that is if the person helping you has the ball or your pair of socks or whatever, okay, and you're doing this, okay, it might be door stop, okay, towel. It'll be catch, but then they throw it to you. So you're going to ready position, okay? Bending your knees, hands ready, okay? And they then throw the ball or the pair of socks, whatever, to you, and you throw it back, okay? Other ways that you could um, uh, improvise, for example, it might be catching with just on one hand if you want to give that a go, okay? It might be a throw it to you, and you're just going to stop it with your foot, okay? It doesn't matter which foot. Okay, or when I was a child, during the hottest of summer holidays, during normal times, um, to practice for cricket, I used to get a, a pillow um, and I used to hit like a sponge ball. Okay, so it might be, just to do it gently here, okay, but if they throw, throw with socks or a sponge ball to you, get a, get a pillow or, or a cushion, just hit it gently. Okay, just practice your, your hand eye coordination. Really important to hit that gently. You're not trying to whack it inside, you just want to stop it. Okay, um, and then just other ways, it's fine that you can kind of um, uh, progress this even further. Still doing a different exercise in the middle, but instead of this being called now the actual objects, it might be north, east, south, west. Okay, so still doing your exercises. Okay, west. 
okay? East, okay, or it might be southwest, back here. Okay, to test yourself, okay? So I said there's loads of different ways. It might be you, you want to change your objects halfway through to make it interesting, okay? Or halfway through, <coughs> you might want to change whereabouts your objects are, okay? So you've got to always think then, okay? So then I've changed position. Okay, but have lots of fun with it. You can change things around, change your exercise in the middle if you want to. Okay, change which part of your body you want to touch them with. Okay, yeah, just have lots of fun.